High water levels have made for a record-breaking day in the Avon descent. The gruelling 124-kilometre whitewater race from Northern to Bayswater was action-packed with some of the fastest conditions the event has seen. A cold and eerie start to day two of the Avon descent. Two, one, away. Visibility a challenge from the get-go. So you could only see five, ten metres ahead of you, which was um, a little bit of a challenge. You were just, oh, OK, we're in a rapid now, let's go. <laughs> High water levels, thanks to July's record rains, made for plenty of spills at Emu Falls. <laughs> While notorious Bells Rapids didn't disappoint. The fast-flowing river made for a record-breaking day. The veteran duo, former Olympians Jesse Phillips and Steve Bird, smashed a 13-year-old record to take line honours. Just what a pleasure to be out on a, on a full river, sun's out. I think we've just had like the first two sunny days the whole winter. Josh Pippen, the first solo paddler, breaking his own 2018 record by seven minutes. It was pretty tough, but it was a great day, so very happy to have a bit more water around and... Yeah, happy to be at the finish in one piece. In her first ever solo run down the Avon, Jane Pankhurst was the first female. Just the time and the effort that you put into it, just to know that it pays off and, you know, when, when you set your mind to something. Despite the fast conditions, the gruelling toll of the 124 kilometres was clear. 70-year-old Ron Clark with the battle scars to prove his 35th trip down the Avon. I, I lost my paddle, I lost my boat, I, I gashed uh, and bells. I just had a shock at home. But anyway, I'm, I've finished. I wanted to do 35 out of 35 and I've done it. <laughs> a speedy day for the power boats too. The overnight leaders took a tumble at bells, making way for 190 racing team of Chris Parnell and Tyron Wilson to claim victory. Breaking two hours for the first time in the event's history. Uh, but it was such a fast race and um, yeah, still some massive waves down the valley and yeah, it was awesome. After being cancelled last year due to COVID, this iconic event has come back bigger than ever, attracting 150,000 spectators over the weekend, with hundreds here at the finish line to watch the records tumble. Dragon Boat's part of the Avon for the first time in a one-day challenge event, and there was plenty of finish line fun for the whole family, those with four legs and two. But it won't be a big night for those on the winner's list. And how will you be celebrating tonight? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Go home and have some food. <laughs> That's about it. Jessica Brown for 10 News First.